Welcome to another live slam down vlog. Today we're going to be talking about GFW and Rebby Hardy again. Yep, she's back at it with her tweets, digging at Jeff Jarrett, Ed Norton. Um, even Matt got involved with a tweet saying that Ed Norton was lying through his yellow Canadian teeth. Now, this is all just getting ridiculous. Now, I'm going to peel this back a little minute because I had a discussion with my friend who makes graphics and he does um, copyrights material and he's quite knowledgeable when it comes to copyright law. Um, so we was talking about the IP and everything else. So I'm going to explain it briefly, right? Doesn't matter how much money a person has put into a project. Um, you know, he says, look at it as a TV programme. When a TV programme is made, don't matter how many people that put money into that programme, it's always the TV channel or the publisher of the channel that has the IP in most most times. Sometimes a TV show would do its own IP, but if you had an actor in, let's say, Big Bang, for example, right? There's an actor in Big Bang. Big Bang, the director, has the copyright of the character. And let's say, let's pick, a, let's pick Penny out of it. Okay, Penny decides to buy her own clothing. She wears her own clothing in scenes. Now, would you see Penny going around? I know her real name's not Penny, but I'm just, you know. Um, go around and saying, well, I want to be in other TV shows. I own my character. I bought the clothes. No, it doesn't work like that. The thing is, if you look at the WWE, any superstar they have, let's say, Road Dog, for example... When he was in WWE, he had the name Road Dog, had the New Age Outlaws theme. When he left that company and went to, I think it was NWO TNA, to TNA at the time, um, he wasn't allowed to use the name Road Dog. He called himself BG James because he couldn't use Road Dog. He had different music because he couldn't use the Road Dog music. But you didn't hear him kick up a fuss and going, oh... It was my idea. I came up with Road Dog name. Blah de blah. WWE and not let me do this. Ah, oh, Vince McMahon. doesn't happen. The thing is, to me, it just shows the unintelligence of Rebby Hardy by keep bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing a company. Um, yes, the Hardys put money into it. If they did, they did. But GFW Impact owns the IP. And everybody going and saying, oh, just let Matt use the character in the WWE. I'm sorry, it wasn't just Matt that come up with the broken gimmick. It was actually Jeremy Borash. Jeremy Borash flying the drone. Jeremy Borash came up with 50% of the idea. Jeremy Borash helped shoot the scenes and put it together. You know, if you look at the Jeremy Borash abyss against Scott Stein and Josh Matthews, which was done the same way... The Broken Brilliance was done. That was Borash. But Jeremy Borash had a lot more involvement with that. So. So why is everybody going, oh, let Matt have it. I'm sorry, but Jeremy Borash made it as well. So shouldn't Jeremy Borash get something out of this? So sometimes a lot of people can be very short-sighted. You've got to look at the big picture on this. Um. And copy, like I said, copyright law is simple. Anthem own the gimmick, own the music, the manner, it, they own it. Okay? If the Harleys put money into it, doesn't matter. Anthem own it by Matt's contract. It's as simple as that. And, you know, Ruby says, oh no, we've got an agreement. They changed them up. Okay, then where's the screaming? Where's proof? See, she's saying all these tweets, but I can tell you now, I don't see any evidence backing up these tweets. I'm talking to a lawyer. Is that it? She's been saying for months that she's got phone calls and evidence, but no. Has she published anything? No. The only thing she did was a DUI against Jeff Jarrett. She's had no proof that Matt put money into it, that Matt owned it, or they're going to lawyers this. There's been no proof.
proof. And the reason I'm getting so annoyed at this, because I'm getting annoyed at people having opinions without knowing the facts and copyright law. If this was the WWE stopping Matt Hardy doing a certain gimmick in GFW, people would be going to WWE, WWE have a right to do it. It's in their contracts. But because it's GFW, fat people have an, already have an opinion that's based on no facts. Now, I was going to try and do this show and be, you know, all technical and stuff like that. But it's frustrating because this has gone on and on and on. It's it's getting ridiculous. And you know what? The only company that's actually proved some proof was Anthem. When they proved um, screenshots of Matt Hardy's contract. But Red, Rebel and Matt haven't produced anything. You've got to think. It's just words. She's The more she keeps going on, the more she's getting a reaction. Now, we know the GFW is done. They're not going to talk to the Hardys, leaving it all to lawyers. They're done. You know, Billy Corgan says it was a bit on both sides. But, so, are we going to see Broken Gimmick in WWE? No. That's like saying we're going to see DX in GFW. Ain't going to happen. People need to start realising and waking up. Um, I really don't like losing my temper on these vlogs, but it's just the frustration that's been building over this. Um, I've had enough. You know, I wasn't going to do this talk about Rebby, but because she started again, I had to talk about it. And do you know what? Even Anthem could make new Broken Brilliance t-shirts, put them on their shop, and Matt can't do anything about it because he signed the contract. <sighs> if Ruby ever sees this, I hope she bloody well does. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I hope she does. And, you know, if she does see this and she brings out proof, I can give her a shake of hand. But she has none. I don't think she has ever had any. Um... You know, I don't know who's worse. Donald Trump on Twitter or Rebby Hardy. I still can't decide. But it, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And her going, fuck the owl. Uh, it Doesn't actually... I'm going to educate some people here. What company saved Jeff Hardy when Jeff Hardy was on drugs and off his face? Which company stood by him and helped him get help and rehab? GFW, Impact. They did that. Um, Matt, for example. No one wanted him. He was a bit overweight. But who gave him a chance? Impact. WWE didn't want him. He had the whole big falling out with the WWE at that time. But Impact took him on. I do find them very hypocritical. They're quick to bitch and moan. But they're not, you know, you don't hear them say the positives about what Impact actually done for them. It's annoying as hell. Now, I'm happy GFW has said they're not talking with the Hardys anymore. Good. Leave it to lawyers. Let it go for courts. Wait for the outcome. Remy needs to stop blasting on Twitter. And technically, GFW, if... G Reb Hardy is coming up with crap because I'm not going to say she is or she isn't. I'm just saying, you know, she's got to have proof, not just shut her mouth off because it makes her look un unintelligent as well. But if if I'm thinking, you know, that Rob Reb Hardy is coming out with crap, then GFW can do her for um, slander and sue her heavily for that. They can sue her for slander, impact on the business for slander with social media. You know, they could leave her out to hang and dry. So she needs to be careful. But end of the day, this crap needs to stop. Leave it to the lawyers. Um, you know, you haven't seen anybody from GFW blasting Ribby. They've just said on the IP contract. Do you know what I mean? They've kept it professional. She needs to start acting professional instead of a moron. And that's right. Yeah, I said it. She's a moron. She is a moron. 
It makes me think the whole Congo Kong, not Congo Kong, wrong name there, <laughs> Awesome Kong, and the Rebby Hardy incident that we heard about where Kong, uh, Awesome Kong got fired for it, makes me think, well, hang on a minute. Maybe it was Rebby that started the altercation between that. And maybe it's Rebby now. You know, her past track record's not great. That's what people need to remember. Now, I've gone a bit over time on this vlog because normally I like to keep them about five minutes, but I had to talk about it. I had to say it. It was getting on my tits. So, I want people to watch this, comment below, and like I said, if you want the broken brilliance in WWE, go and read copyright law. Go and understand copyright law and understand IP. This has been Slam Down and your host, Ashley. See you again next time.